My mom, man, I've been in church all my life. My mom had me in church as an embryo. I was in the womb like this. <laughs> my mom turned 91 this year. 91. And she, um, you know, she's up in age and everything, and she has this thing called dementia, which, you know, she, you know, her mind is not the way it used to be. And she repeats herself and everything. And, you know, she does it like word for word. And, you know, for a comic, it's kind of funny because one time I called my mom, and this old dude in my neighborhood named Pee Wee had just died. And I called my mom that day, happened to call my mom and say, hey, what's going on? She's like, guess what? Pee Wee dead. I just saw Pee Wee yesterday. Early came to my house. They told me Pee Wee's on the porch had a heart attack. Pee Wee is gone, child. So how you doing, baby? You doing good? That's nice. Guess what? Pee Wee dead. I just saw Pee Wee yesterday. Early came to my house. They told me Pee Wee was on the porch had a heart attack. Pee Wee is gone, child. You doing a show in Lakeland? That's nice. Guess what? <laughs> Please do not come around my mother with an ugly baby. Because Ida will tell you, you got an ugly behind baby. She's 91 years old. What you going to do to her? My mom is bumming. Oh, my God. That's your baby? Woo, that's an ugly baby. Don't get mad at me. I didn't do it. Oh, that's the father? No wonder. Guess what? Pee Wee dead. <laughs> my mom. My, <laughs> my mom. As I'm the only child. I'm the only child. And I never felt like an only child until my mother's health started to decline, right? So I had to pull the trigger on taking my mother out of her house. Taking a black woman out of a house she's been living in for 52 years. I got a better chance of going to a KKK rally and going, guys, we can work it out. And my mom, her health, you know, she would, you know, pass out, but she, she would never remember that she passed out. And I would say, hey, you can't stay by yourself because you pass out. And he'd be like, what do you mean? I ain't pass out. They lying. Ain't nobody pass out. What you talking about? I said, well, the neighbor found you on the floor. Well, I'm on the floor in my house. I said, but you can't live by yourself no more. No, yes, I can. I, you ain't taking me out of my house. There I go. I'm back. So my mother... She's in a facility now, you know, to help her needs and everything, right? And she's doing really great and everything, right? And what I found out, people who are going through that stage in their life, every now and then they have a flashback of what they used to do, right? And it was a guy named, named Mr. Johnson, right? Because I'll go visit my mom, and I talk to all the residents and everything. And it was a guy named Mr. Johnson. And apparently, he used to be a bus driver, so he's in a wheelchair now. But every now and then, he'll have a flashback. He'll be sitting there watching TV go, y'all better shut up back there. Don't make me stop this bus. I'm like, what the wrong with this man right here? But my mom's roommate was the kicker, Miss Lily. Miss Lily's the kicker because her memory is so bad. When I walk in my mother's room to visit my mother, Miss Lily goes, hey, baby, how you doing? And then I would step out of her sight for like two seconds, and any type of sudden movement I'd make, she'd go, oh, God, you scared me. And then I started doing it on purpose. I would step behind the curtain. I go, boogity, boogity. Oh, God. You scared me. But apparently, Miss Lily, back in her day, she what they call a fan dancer. Or back in them days, they call it burlesque. Anytime she hear music, she start taking off her clothes. Right? So I'm in the room one day. It's a music playing on the radio. I'm talking to my mom. I turned around. Miss Lily is butt naked. I turned around like this. Oh, God. You scared me. She made $15 that day, Jackson. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. It was only 10. 